Today we're going to be doing a bunch of life hacks from the most viewed cooking life hacks video on YouTube which has 66 million views. Now a lot of viral internet life hack videos, they tend not to work, so we're putting this one to the test. Shout out to 5 Minute Crafts for the video, let's get to it. Instant pancakes and crepes. For instant pancakes, you need milk, oil, salt, sugar, flour, water bottle. Let me finish this boy. So. Boys, in the video, they don't show the assembly. Uh, they just show the finished product. Uh, so, do we even have ratios on here? No ratios. Yeah, how do we, uh, how do we fill off L? Yeah, baby. See, it's not really much of a life hack. I feel like when it's low key, kind of difficult to do. All right, well, I got my egg in here. All right, y'all, so we looked up an actual recipe for pancakes. So we're just gonna kind of loosely go off that. I don't know. This doesn't really seem like much of a life hack. They don't give you instructions. I mean, granted, I don't have a funnel, that's on me, but I feel like a lot of people don't have funnels. Ah. Uh, How watery is it? Seems kind of loosey goosey. Alright, we have our pancake mix. Dude, I feel like we've done a lot of pancake life hacks in the last year, and I'll be honest, none of them have ever seemed to work that well. So we would oil our pan, but they didn't oil the pan. That, I mean, they might be using a non-stick, so let's just assume they're using a non-stick in the video and do a little... Bro, I'll be honest, I could have done that in a mixing bowl way faster. Sometimes these life hacks are just like, how to take twice as long to do the same thing. This is the test. Everyone knows the first pancake is the test pancake, bro. <laughs> to you. No, to it. That's like a known thing, bro. Look it, it up. It is. It's not bad. All right, and we have our pancake. Uh, it's thin. You know, I didn't put a lot, so it's gonna be a bit smaller. Let's give it a go. I don't have maple syrup here. I don't really have much of anything at this house yet. Honestly, uh, this life hack was kind of a, eh. Personally, I think this is a life hack fail. One, because they don't show you the, the real instructions. Two, because, I don't know, man, I just feel like this is not an efficient way to do it. Like, the shaking's dope, you do it all at once, but it's just such a hassle to get every, I don't know, maybe if you had a funnel, it wouldn't be so bad. Next life hack is rolling out pizza dough with a wine bottle. Everybody knows this one, this one's been around forever, so today we're gonna, just gonna see how it compares to an actual rolling pin. To see if it's an actual W of a life hack, or if it's just, uh, you think it's cool, but it might not be. So, we would normally use pizza dough, but today we have croissant dough. Sheesh! It's pretty good. Yeah, so... I'm gonna give the wine bottle a W, but at the same time, it is, this is kind of a reminder to me that this is a lot better. Like, I still think that's a dub, but this is kind of a reminder that if you can get an actual roller, you probably should just get an actual roller, to be honest. Okay, the next life hack, uh, it's not actually really explained in the video what this is used for. It's literally just uh, putting spaghetti in a water bottle. Now, when I first saw and heard about this one, I thought it might have been for storage, and I was like, it seems kind of whack. Why would I want to store it in a water bottle? But I'm now thinking, is this low-key a good life hack for determining your serving size? Oh. Right? Is, is that is is this, what's explained? Is this like, no, there's no explanation. So they put it in, they flip it up, and they show cooked spaghetti. I think, I think, this is a serving size, maybe. For like a side amount? I don't know. Well, I don't understand. What is the point of this? That's it? That That's all that is in the video. L. 66 million views, and this is the quality of the. <laughs> Not to come at you, five minute crafts, but what the. F what is that? Next slide pack! You can use an egg carton to hold your condiments. So, I still have these two eggs, but I'm normally you would just chop off the other side of the bin. And yeah, the thought process is to put them in upside down immediately uh, with the Cholula kind of happening. I don't know. This is a normal size cap. Yeah, I, here, I have a life hack for you guys. If you want to keep your condiments cooled, and then um, you, you close the fridge door and you walk away. Next life hack, dudes. A new way to store knives. So, uh, let's say you have a lot of rice that you just want to waste. This is like all of my rice. Now I gotta buy more rice. Um, say you wanna store your knives and you don't have a fancy magnetic thing, you can put your knives in here. 
And uh, it looks like a second grade art piece. Y'all, if you think I'm trolling that this isn't the actual most viewed life hacks video of all time, what, what is that? Like the, the guy, look at this, look at this y'all. Oh, uh, I need to cut some lemons. Better grab my rice filled cup. <laughs> Yeah, this is, this is way more better. Yeah, I, the thing with life hacks is like, I get it, you know, I feel like part of life hacks is saving $15 here and there, because that adds up, right? You save $15 every, once every three days, buying, I mean, you're not going to be buying kitchen stuff that often. I don't know, I just feel like I'm going to give this a fat L. And I'm taking my rice back. The next life hack is preserving a cucumber. So, let's say I want, I don't know, big thick cucumber slice. Um, so you normally would use a toothpick, and I actually advise against spaghetti because there's a chance your spaghetti could saturate. But with a toothpick or spaghetti, you can uh, reseal your cucumber. Kind of. Nice. And you can break it off clean. Yeah. But why would they serve it on a plate? I, I just look at the lemon. Okay, but here's the thing. With theirs, their lemon, their cucumber, and my cucumber, you still... What is the point? Oh, so, well, so, like, the insides doesn't... Bro, rot, but what I about guess? this part sticking out? I know, it's not gonna... Next life hack, how to dice an onion. I gotta say, this isn't really much of a life hack because this is literally the way you're just supposed to dice onions. So we're gonna go vertical, straight down, and then you're gonna chop across. And there you have it, some nice diced onions. Again, this, that's not really a life hack. That's literally just the normal way you would dice an onion. But next life hack, this might be the dumbest one yet. Say you want some cereal. Now, in the demonstration for this video, you can see they're pouring their milk in from really high. So if you, I guess if you pour your milk in too high, it could splash, you know. I have a life hack to prevent that. You just, you come in a little lower. Let's say you insist on coming in high. You know, some people, work is unbearable. They come in high. Uh, if you want to prevent splashing, you can go like this. And I can't believe this is actually working. Again, you could also just pour the milk in a little bit lower and you would be totally fine. Does it, does it make uh, the cereal taste better? Um, all right, bowl one. Give that, that was pretty good. Bowl two. They taste the exact same. I'm actually getting a little frustrated right now. I, what, 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 like, what in the French toast was that? The next life hack is, if you're gonna microwave pizza, reheat some pizza, if you put it in with water, it will be crispier. Now, John, I'm gonna have you conduct the experiment, I'll leave the room, and I'll do a blind taste test, not knowing which was with water, which was not, and we'll see if okay. I even notice a difference between the two. We have two slices of pizza, and the hack, it just says to put it on to, onto the microwave. They didn't say how long, so I'm just gonna do it for like maybe 30 seconds. So one of these bad boys is with water. This is the one with water in it? Nope. <laughs> this one is the one with water. <laughs> Bro, this one is way soggier. Okay, this one is kind of wild. I don't even really understand it. You can take a fork, you can take a hammer. You can put them together with some tape. Once you have your hammer fork, you can tenderize a steak with this. Now, we got a New York strip, so not the most marbled cut of steak, but you know, pretty good overall. So, let's tenderize it. Oh, dude, what the fuck is that? A few minutes later. So, we have the one that we beat with a hammer and a fork over here. We have the normal one over here. Let's give it a go. I guess I'll try the end piece from each. It's pretty good. Try the normal steak now. There is a difference. What's the difference? This one is a little bit more tender. I guess W for making the steak more tender. The next life hack is how to peel an orange. Now with the life hack, you actually do start with a knife. I kind of feel like having a knife is low key kind of cheating, no? But anyway, you're gonna cut a circle, a ring around the orange, and you're going to... This one was supposed to work, man. This. You had a ho high hopes on this one? I actually did have high hopes on this one. I don't, I don't know, let me... Okay, I have gone around the ring like in the video, and I'm just gonna wedge my finger in a spiral. Oh. Hey! Oh, okay. Let's try the other side now. So, yeah, just because you just wedge your finger in it. Yo! Yo. That's a dub. That? Alright, let's let's see how much of a dub it is. I want you to put a timer on me. 
<laughs> All right, this life hack, uh, just take a look over there. Okay, now look back at me. I don't know what to actually call this one. I don't know what this is saving time from or for. So I'm just gonna call this life hack getting banned from Italy speed run. Um, I feel like that's the most appropriate name I could come up with for this. Jesse took a DNA test once and I think we're like 20% Italian maybe. So after this I will be 0%, but that's okay. Bro, I feel like I'm doing like first grade arts and crafts right now. Our monstrosities, our Uh, let's put some olive oil in that bitch. Yeah, maybe? let's dress it up a little bit. Flame pasta with a turkey bacon or turkey turkey sticking out. I don't really like the texture of it inside the thing. I think it would taste better if it was just normal, like if it was just cut up and put into the, the spaghetti. You may not like it, but this is what peak male performance looks like. <laughs> Dub or L? L. Why would you ever make that? Okay, so let's say you want to preserve an avocado. Earlier, we prepped this life hack. Basically what we did was we put an avocado, one with an onion, one without an onion to see if the onion will prevent browning. That is the life hack. Okay, this is with no onion. Not a lot of brown. This, there, the brown that is there was a little bit less dark earlier, I guess. And the one with the onion, the brown is still... I mean, it's a little bit lighter. It is a little... Yeah, I feel like... Am I, maybe I'm seeing... Maybe I'm trying to see something that's not there, but... You can see that brown is a little bit darker on that one, right? Or am I tripping? Am I... Do I have a bias right now? No, wait, hold on. We need it. Because obviously we cut this in half, right? So this is yeah. the same... This yeah. mark is this mark, and this yeah. one is a lot lighter. It so could. it could... For those of you wondering, we had these out out of a fridge in these bins for the last, what time is it? Two o'clock, for the last two and a half hours. So maybe not enough time to tell. We're doing the avocado test the following morning. Um, onion, still pretty good. Deeper browns and with the onion uh, on the camera, they look similar, but I'll be honest. I don't know, this one is a little bit of a deeper brown in person. On the camera, it doesn't show as well. So kind of works, but honestly, it, it doesn't really seem to make that much of a difference. All right, our next life hack is a creative way to do ice cubes. Is that the name of the life hack? It's just lemon and lime it in a cube. So basically, uh, we prepared this beforehand. It's an Ooh. ice cube that has layered lime and lemon. I actually kind of taste it already. I'm gonna let that melt down a little bit. As a side note, I thought this inspired me to do my own life hack. So let's fill this super cup. Uh, my thought was why don't we just literally freeze the fruit and use that as an ice cube? I don't know. I mean, this is good too. I like this, it's helping keep it cold. This one works surprisingly well, because I think a lot of the water infused with the uh, fruit before it fully froze. Know if the effort level is worth it. Worth it when you could just dump ice cubes and <laughs> fruit in separately, or you could do this method, but I don't know. Honestly, they're both kind of W, so. I mean, it's a good presentation. If I went to a house party or to a, any kind of party and they had. They had that? That, I'm like, okay, wow. They actually care. Yeah, no, you know what? I'm going to give this... We haven't had too many of these today. We're stacking them up later in the video, though. That's a dub. Yeah, that's a dub. It's a dub. If you guys enjoyed this video, click up here to see us trying the worst recipes on YouTube. They're even worse than some of the life hacks we had today, so you don't want to miss that. I'll see you in the next one. Peace!